Hey, hey, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to Wicked Rules. Today, I'm starting a five-part series on the top five best free scents out there. I've put a lot of research into this. I've tried tons and tons of scents. I selected these very carefully and for a lot of reasons. So hopefully you'll learn some sound design along the way. And I'm also making a free preset bank for each synth. So not only will you have some new cool instruments to play with, you'll have some brand new exclusive sounds to mess with too. The first one is called Helm and it is super amazing. It has an incredibly clean looking GUI. It just sounds great, very bright, very modern. It's really easy to dial in all kinds of different sounds. It can be really pretty. It can get really nasty. Let's go ahead and get started and take a listen to some of these presets. I'm gonna put a link to the preset bank in the description so you can grab these. Here's a little ARP. 808. Got some dubstep wobs. And of course we've got dubstep wobs part two, the sequel. And then I used the step sequencer inside the synth to make this one. And then it's also got a filter routed to the mod wheel. But yeah, you can grab all these presets in the description. Let's go ahead and initialize this patch. And uh, let me tell you about Helm. Here's your two oscillators. Here's how you pick the shapes. There's this mod knob that lets you morph the sounds between the two. It usually kind of makes it uh, distorted and gritty a little bit. Um, here's where you control how many voices you want the oscillator to be. So um, if it's on one voice, this unison spread doesn't do anything. But as soon as you put it on two or more voices, you got a transpose for semitone. And then you got a fine tune. And double click to return to zero. And then, you know, same identical controls over here. Um, semitones, fine tune. Um, here's the mixer, so let's turn oscillator two up. Already sounding pretty good. We got a separate sub oscillator. Let's turn these down for a second. Here's how you select the shape for your sub. Also got a noise oscillator. Here's your basic ADSR. You can adjust it with these sliders or you can also just kind of click over here and uh, move stuff around. Here's your main filter, and you activate it right here, so now it's on. Um, you can control it with these two sliders, or you can also just click right here and move it around as well. Um, here's like your low pass and your high pass. You can switch it from a 12 dB slope to 24. Here are your three LFOs. You got um, mono LFO 1, 2, and then a poly LFO. And um, to route anything in Helm, you just click on one of these little plugs and you'll see the color scheme change. Now that this plug is activated, it's waiting on me to move something. So let's go back up to these little fine tuners 
and if I start to move it, now you see the modulation um, that's being triggered by this LFO1 right here. Uh, let's do this one too. And when you're done, click the plug again. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, it's pretty extreme. So right here with this slider, you can actually tame the LFO. Um, here's the speed. Set it to eighth notes. Um, right here, these three tempo settings are all going to be linked to your DAW, which I usually use. Or if you want it to run free, you can put it on seconds. And then if you click here, you can put it on re-trigger or you can let it run free. Uh, what that means is, let's slow this down. When you put an LFO on re-trigger, if you watch right here, every time I hit a key, it starts the modulation path all over again. But if I have it on free, this little green ball, which represents the modulation path, um, keeps going. Those two options create um, very different results. Also, anytime you want to undo some modulation, you would hover back over this plug, control right click, and then I'll do disconnect all for now. And so now that's undone, and these are back to normal. Let's route this LFO2 um, to this main filter. Right here is a stutter unit, so if I turn this on, it's set to eighth notes, which is the ba 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 ba. But you'll hear that other change is coming from the secondary control that's set to half notes. Um, right here, there's a formant filter you can click on. Let's turn this stutter off. And you know, you can um, automate these two sliders right here to control it. This is just an extra mod envelope with the ADSR also. And you know, this is just an extra modulation envelope that you could use to route to anything, to whatever your little hearts desire. Here's the distortion. It has a simple um, drive knob and mix knob. Um, you got soft clip, hard clip, linear fold back, and uh, sign fold back. Um, here's the delay and reverb. They're both very straightforward. Here's the ARP right here. Same controls here. You can uh, sync it to your DAW with the three tempo settings or let it run free. Um, you've got the gate. Longer notes. And shorter notes. Octaves. And then you have some options on what order the notes are played. I like that it has random included on there. A couple other basic things. Right here it's set to four voices, meaning I can play four notes at the same time. That can be turned all the way up to 32 if you really want to like play it piano style and you don't want to worry about any notes being cut off. And uh, to get this synth in mono, there's not a poly mono switch, but you just put this voice on one. And uh, if you want to go legato, that's actually over here. And uh, you got your portamento. And here are some keyboard mods. This is how you would um, use your mod wheel on your MIDI keyboard or the pitch wheel on your MIDI keyboard. Um, for instance, let's take this filter down. And let's route the mod wheel to this. And now when I slowly open up the mod wheel on my MIDI keyboard, you got that. Here's how you would create a velocity sensitive patch, which I love to do. Um, let's crank this filter back down. And let's route the velocity to this filter. Now if I hit a note softly, um, it's going to sound kind of closed, and the harder I press the key, the more the sound's going to open up. Yeah, very cool. All right, lastly, the step sequencer, I thought it would just be best for me to pull up this patch I made to kind of show you how it works. The patch sounds like this. I drew out my uh, melody on the step sequencer here, and then I just routed it 
as you can see, um, this movement right here, I routed it to the main pitch of both oscillators. And that just about wraps it up. I will be putting um, my preset bank in the description. It'll be one single file. And all you have to do is click on import bank. Um, I think I have this on the desktop right here. Wicked Helm Bank. Open that up. And then you'll have all of these presets.